Hello, everybody. And today, Space Cup. <sighs> Hello, every everybody. Today, I. <clears throat> Hello everyone, and today I am going to be predicting Space Cup 3, which is the tournament that is going on right now. Um, a couple games have already been played, but that doesn't affect too much of how I'm going to place everybody in my predictions, so... Before we start, just want to say, if you want to play some Chaos Galaxy tournaments, uh, stop by the Chaos Galaxy Discord link below, and also just check out Zach himself, who created Chaos Galaxy. Alright, uh, and also if you're wondering why I have Policy and Barrow specifically, it's because of the two uh, decks that I feel like are going to be mostly played. Anyways, so... First of all, I'm, I took all 16 players that we have and ranked them on how likely they're going to be in the top 8. So likely not, possibly, likely, and definitely. Um, and I just ranked them from order of least likely to most likely. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we have me. <laughs> um to stay unbiased, I'm putting myself at the bottom spot just so that I don't, like, sound biased or anything. So, yeah. I might make it. I might not. Who knows? I might actually be in one of these other ones, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways. Uh, next is Flare VGC. He, or they are, you know, I haven't seen much of what they've done, and they really haven't played much of anybody uh, outside of Space Cup 3, they're pretty new, so I'm not sure of what they could do, but, uh, definitely could make top 8, I just haven't seen much from them, and they haven't played much, so I have no idea. Uh, next is Snoopy, or Jellyfish, or the other guy, um, and, uh, he... I've seen him play, but, you know, he's still also very new, so I don't see him making top 8 this time. He might get fairly close, but depends on what, how well he does in these 5 rounds, but I don't see much of any hope for him, but who knows? You never know. Um, then it's the Harvester. He's he's played a bit in some things and some things others. And, you know, he's done decent, um, but I don't know, I just, he seems new, but also not new, it's, I, I'm not sure, I think he has the most chance out of all the four in the likely not top eight to, you know, be in the top eight, actually, and, you know, by all means, he might get, like, really close, uh, but... I don't see him making top 8 either. Uh, next is possibly top 8, and this is where the most people are, starting off with Jez, or Jezza. And they, you know, it's a wild card in my opinion, because I have, I have no idea. Sometimes he's, like, disqualified. Sometimes uh, something's happened, but I, I think he has... a decent chance of making top eight um but it just all depends on really what he's playing this time and what people he's going to be matched up against uh next oh that is not supposed to happen uh next is lunar fox and they've played some but uh I haven't really seen them do specifically extremely well, but they still have some chance at making the top eight too. And then Sword, Sword probably is a is a mixed bag. Could make top eight, could not. Uh, been in pub tourneys and stuff, and he he's got he's got a good chance too. 
just depends on how he plays in these five rounds. Uh, next is Mush, and they have done consistently well in tournaments, but I'm not sure whether or not they're going to be able to place in top eight. It really depends on the competition, really, too. Uh, but I see some slightly higher chances than everybody below just because they've played a lot more. So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, and then next is Green Butler coming back to play some games. But, and I, I could see them really doing. A, a good top eight finish. I think they've they've got really good chances if they just play well, um, and and they've they they've come back from the grave, so they might be a bit rusty. But I think they've got really good chances too. And then next is Brain Pixels or Sword Alt, and uh, they've placed top eight a few times and done pretty well in general um so i see them the most likely out of the possibilities to be in th the top eight um but it's a but these kind of like but these like top three are kind of just a very shuffly wild card thing mush green butler and sword alt uh just because they both have their strengths and weaknesses uh and like mo likely top eight only two luweg who has done consistently well in the games that he's played and they've um they've done really well and gotten top eight uh in the last tournament and just you know generally a good match and then uh professor de has also played consistently well and i see them making it to the top eight uh and then for definitely top eight i am for sure thinking that bunsen is going to make top eight uh maybe a bill a little rusty from their bake but i mean in the past They've done really. They've they've made top eight and they've done really well. Um. So I see them really like, just I even if it's eighth place, I think Bunsen will make it. Next is Diamond Depoy, who has also played consistently well in the games that he's been in. You know, placing top spots in top eight. So I feel like it's a definite uh top eight, even if he doesn't do that well and then next the next two are basically just the same thing secret and oddish both legends in the community consistently placing high up they will make top eight for sure all right so next we got the top eight and my placings for all top eight which includes the two people in the possibly the top two so that's green butler and luig so this is what I think will happen if all eight of those battle it out. So, in first, I think it's going to be secret. Um, but it's it's a really wild card because I, I'm just not sure. Um, but secret just plays really well and really does well on what on their... Um, decks and just and i think he's playing burrow bugs too so he might be able to pull off some crazy stuff with that but we'll have to see and second i actually think that bunsen will make second it's a bit of a topsy-turvy and risky prediction but i think that they'll be able to pull through maybe even be oddish uh and then speaking of oddish i I still think that Oddish will place top three, whether or not they get beaten by Bunsen. Um, but Oddish does 
does extremely well also, but I don't know if he's playing OTK or FTK, and I'm not saying that it's bad or anything, but, you know, sometimes you don't get the right pulls, so if he just has a really bad match with Bunsen, then, you know, it could all fall flat. And then fourth, we have Diamond. Uh, Diamond has high chances being has high chances to place really high, being able to place really high in top eight and top four um, in other tournaments. So really good chances there, but we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, then in fifth, I feel like De will come in fifth. Also played consistently high up two in top eight. Um, and I just think they'll be able to do pretty well. And they make some pretty nice, unique decks. So, you know, it can change it up a bit. Although, if he's also playing FTK and OTK, again, it's all about kind of playing the cards right and getting those cards. Uh, so, I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, next is Luwig, and I actually do have a bit of information. Luwig is playing Kazarax, and I think Kazarax, uh, from from what I've seen in this first round, they're pretty good. Um, maybe not good enough to be most of the better players, but I still think that they're good enough that it's going to place them in at, at least six and you know sit at a pretty good position in top eight and then seventh uh i'm i'm feeling good about green butler just simply because uh i don't know i just have good feelings that he'll make top eight and they'll at least make seventh i i mean it's not like the best in terms of anything, but, you know, just make a pretty good run. And then finally, in eighth, we have Brain Pixels, and whether or not they get eighth, I feel like they're, I feel like Brain Pixels is going to do really, really, really well, um, and have a really good run. Definitely has, it definitely has a skill to get farther up, but, We'll have to see what happens. And yeah, that's about it, about my predictions. In my opinion, <laughs> I feel like I was saying nonsense this whole time. Um, if you have any predictions yourself, please put them in the comments below. I would love to read them because I feel like I am very uninformed in everything. Uh, definitely don't have as much knowledge as most of these guys um, so yeah, I will see you later, also if I was sniffling a bit, that's because I have a cold, uh, and remember that happiness is a warm puppy.